This is his Yushami Brachus Daf Ein Gimel, according to the Ozvod, our article pagination. Uh, <clears throat> according to the uh, Vilna pagination, it's Nun Beis, Omud Beis. And uh, we're starting um, from the two dots, three lines at the top. Zero Boy, Elaine Shlosh Krios, which in the um, end of Vilna is about uh, 10, 10 lines, 15 lines, 10 lines at the bottom. Okay, so I'm Zero Boy, Elaine Shlosh Krios, Mat Avi Lone. So the Pnei Moshe says, "Even Shlosh Kriyos, Mach Dikan Ezra Shul Korin Shlosh Bnei Adam Metera." Ezra made that comment. Three people should read in Torah: Mincha and Shabbos, Chaim Sheni and Chamishim. It was Mincha for Shabbos afternoon, Monday Thursday. Why Rabbi Rabbi Zira? This Rabbi Zira. Why Rabbi? Says Rabbi Zira. Pnei Moshe here it has a Russian table, so very good. Uh, that's um, really good. It's really zero. I know it's really good. Anyway, so Rabbi Zira asked the question. Actually, my biggest term is Muslim. Now, my biggest term is Muslim. Um, my Abilon, Clomar, Ezadimi Muslim, I'm a Damilon. What do you, what, what, what's the, how do we infer the correspondence? Inka Shlosha Shahu Kachas is like three people ate together. Uh, oh, them being like a shlosh shlosh who's zevin atzmo, like three people eat, eat each one on, on its own. Klamar lo kishlosh shlosh ka'achashim zamin begum barak lekulam. Not like three ate together and one makes one of all of them. Oh, come on, elu shochlim bivne atzmo, kol echol echol merg bivne atzmo. It's like uh, uh, people eat by themselves; they have to make a bracha each one individually. For I shall not also on afkina mina bai. We're going to see, of course, on afkina mina in this question. What 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 what's the issue here? Shari Torah says so wants to prove that here it's talking about where there's no minion and it's not a Kriya but Sibor, and that, that's Dachuk. Okay, so therefore we're just going to go with the assumption it's Kriya but Sibor, and one of the Mincha Shah, as I've known, Monday or Thursday situations. Um, uh, so again, what is here by Elan Shlosha Kriya Smart of Elan? Kishlosha. So three people eat together, three people eat in the Bentley. going to make it like three people eat together. So the person gets the first layer, makes the first bracha, the bracha before the lady. And the last person makes the last bracha, the bracha after the lady. And the middle of the year doesn't make a bracha at all. Remember back then, the people about the Gatalia would actually lay. But the, the, so that they did. But the question is whether they have them, who made the brachas. So if they're mitzdarif together, if they're all considered as one unit, so then you make two brachas, one at the beginning, one at the end. For the, the first one will make the first bracha, the last one will make the last bracha, and the middle one will make no brachas. Make like three people eat independently. I feel them toy, even the middle uh, person makes the bracha. They all make a bracha before and after the lady. So the Gemara doesn't really answer this question, and uh, the Tubi Yushalayim points out that later in Halacha Gimel, when, uh, when, uh, which is um, a couple of blood hence, in the, uh, in the Vilna, it's on Daf Lun Hei and in the uh, Art Scroll, it is on, um, I'm hey on the base, right? No, maybe it's on. I rub them it off. Pisco would be going to lens Rabbi Akiba. I find it. Well, I don't see it. it. Must be here, and I have a Uh, yeah. Uh, let me see. Come make right. Right. I have a five, uh, six lines down. So they. What happened that that. Uh, 
according to Bnei Moshe, that Rabbi Zira came from Babel to Eretz Yisrael, and he just started. He got a. Um, he he was. He was reading as Levi, so it's Koyim Malkam Levi. But whatever that means, so he's Levi. He made a bracha before and after. So then they they upset at him. You know that was not the minute in Eretz Yisrael. So so Rabbi Zira. So they said so they told him. But Chibrash he said leave him alone. That is the minute in Babel. And this is, of course, Rabbi Zira first came from Babel to Eretz Yisrael. So therefore, it seems that Rabbi Zira is asking a question: Which minhag is primary, Babel or Eretz Yisrael? Because both minhagim obviously existed at the time. Uh, therefore, really, the Gemara does not come to any doesn't uh, go, go, come to any conclusion. I guess it was an open question, which still uh, survived as uh, after Rabbi Zira came to Eretz Yisrael. But in any event. So now the Gemara goes on and says a new statement, um, which is that um, and Bnei Moshe has a different shot here, but uh, the Pashib We learn Birchus to talk from Birchus to make a bracha afterwards, but we only make the bracha afterwards in Barabi, if we are in, a, in public. In other words, which I mean today. We say bracha b'chayelam not to after we get an aliyah, but we don't say a, a bracha at the end of learning if we're learning biyachid. Uh, so um, the uh, that's the uh, it's we only learned it for the purpose of a bracha barabin. Okay, uh, and then it says um, the uh, next line. It says v'im l'rabim afilu beinu le'veinatz v'le'varech. So the way the um, Torah and Shavu Shonim brings down from the Avu Drom. It's supposed to say not Vin L'Rabim Afilu, but rather Avol Yachid Beinu Beinatz Malivarch. If an individual who's learning doesn't make a bracha after he learns, uh, and it could be that there's uh, a, a, um, uh, a Musar Asko there, like we learn like Tosis and Brachas and Bavli says they're always supposed to come back to learning Torah, never supposed to, sit, uh, and that's why you don't have to make a Rubik Chasdar every time you come to learn. But in any event, the Mara says here, Amr Abba Mori Achuid Rabbi Yosi Asu Kishar Komitz Yisrael Shel Torah. You say, why don't we make a Bichas Shel Torah? Why don't we make a bracha after we learn Torah? It's like any other mitzvah. Any other mitzvah Torah, we don't make a bracha afterwards. We only make a bracha after uh, after the. Therefore, we only make the bracha afterwards, specifically by Kriyas Shel Torah Barabim, not by learning Torah, but by a Yachid. Um, okay. Uh, so that's it says Mashar Mitzvah Tuno Shogu Mitzvah Tuz Bracha Abzlo Tuna Bracha. So it's just like other Mitzvah Kriyas Bracha. So the Bichas Torah normally, when it's not a Kriyas Torah Bracha, it's like a Bichas Mitzvah. When it comes to Bichas Torah Torah Barabim, then it's a it's a diff, uh, evidently that's a different um, a different quality, and therefore then in that case you do make a Bracha after you uh, finish the learning. So I think that you know even after the Gemara gives us Hezbar that um, he made like uh, uh, Birchas uh, uh, Mitzvos. Um, nevertheless, you still have to come out to something in addition to the distinction between Rabbi and Yochid to say that by Rabbi there's a distinct mitzvah which is Takanos Meish Rabbeinu that ends after you have three Kruim and therefore you have a Bracha Acharel. Whereas with Mitzvah Tamar Torah the Yochid never stops and therefore they did not learn from Birchas Hamazon. Which again, at the end of the fine meal, to the uh, Torah, which is the Gisba Yem and Balila. After something along those lines, I think is actually the Amos of Shai. Okay, so it says where further. The uh, uh, it said in the uh, Mishnah, if you ate the Mai, then you must type the Zimun, right? You can be part of the Zimun. Adamra Acha Peira Sovig Nitnu Sovig Lo Nitkenu Mizamnit. That it seems that uh, if you may eat fruit, whether there's a suffix, if it was uh, uh, fixed or not fixed, you mizame, just like my mai. What's the difference between the mai and pay with suffix? Need to suffix learn it through. I'm sure I'll clear the red breath and no, it's different. But sure, she goes to the mai when they made the gazera uh, on the mai, um, then um, the Yimilch and Koyagoro made it and he, he checked out. And Rova may are to you, Rova may are to you, Machnis uh, most of the uh, Ameoretz would bring into their houses. Uh, in other words, they um, uh, bring into their houses means they became Chayev in Jewish Meisers. And they would be Meiser in the uh, Meiser. It was a minority 
it was a meal that mostly evidently never made the Takana. But the majority were being Marvish to Muslim So um uh th therefore it's different than Sofik, which is maybe 50-50, so there's no rove. The, that person perhaps can't be Mitzayef Luzimun. Whereas a person beats a dog mice, since before the Takana there was a rove, therefore he can be Mitzayef. Vai do Amr do, and where do we see such a thing? So, um, uh, the, um, where, where do we see something similar? Kuti Mizamni no love. A Kuti. You, you can you, be mitzahav to your zimun. Uh, so that would tell teach us, from the Maya, it's not a raya, to suffix, uh, but from kuti, it's a raya, right? A kuti is a suffix, we don't, there's no rove necessarily, so therefore, if a kuti is a suffix, it can be joined uh, to the uh, zimun. Uh, so, so to suffix, nikan, suffix, no nikan, should be uh, able to be, somebody attached to this, be able to participate in zimun. I'm Rabbi Abba. No, that's not not necessarily. The part that command the Amar Kuti, and then the Charedim changes the gear so which I think you have to do. Command the Amar Kuti Ki Yisrael. The Spalgul is a Machlekes. Kuti Kuti Kigoy Divei Rabbi. Was Charedim throws in whole extra words here. Rabbi Shemila, can we Amar Kuti Ki Yisrael Chol Davar? So um comes out that now from Kuti it's no right either because Kubi the Mandomro in our Mishnah is a Kuti's Mitzvah Zimun is like uh Rabbi Shimon Gamliel, so Kuti is like his old called over. But in a Khanami, like um uh, 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 Kuti is like a goy, or even a Kuti is like a sofek, then we would not be with Starif, and therefore you also not be with a person who ate sofek, nitkan, sofek, no nitkan, also would not be with Starif, so we'd have no resolution to this issue, to this question. Okay, says the next Mishnah, Lacha Beis. No Shavonikhtan Imzam Nelem. No Shavonikhtan are not Mitzarev to the Zimun. Akam Zamnin, how much the person have to eat to be Mitzarev to the Zimun? Akizayis. Even a Kizayis. Even a Kibetza, no, it has to eat a lead to the Beitza. Rabbi Simon Bashem Rabbi Shimon Levi. Yes, Bashem Ben Shol Bashem Rabbi. Katan Osim Asos Nifla Sora. A cotton can be made a branch. Uh, in other words, he, he can be included and, and to make ten. So um, the um, did we learn that we're, we're not meticulous about a cotton? So I'm Rabbi Yosi, Kim Rabbi Simon, Rachina, Rabbi Simon, Shem Yishum Levi, Lishnei Ktani Nitzucha. We're talking about two Ktani. Uh, I'm going to go back and explain this in a minute. Shim Shim Hayo. Uh, the uh, the Peshat Yisro has a Gilsa here. Echad Katan Vechad Sufik. The boy name was a was a Sufik. Then uh, Osim also Sniff. Again, the, the word Sufik, which appears next, is uh, supposed to be Sniff. So it should be Echad Katan Vechad Sufik. Osim also Sniff. So let's see the Rabbi Basio explains what it's talking about. He said, "Shem Mishum and Levi, Rabbi." Well, he doesn't change the case of Shai Torah Sitzro, but nevertheless, the the the, the explanation is the same. Shem Mishum and Levi, Rabbi Yosi Ben Shob Shem Rabbi, Kotim Asi So Snif La Sora, but I am that you Kotim So Mar Venechshav Kiikar Kamo Gadol Mamish. So, since I'm a doctor in a cotton, we don't check him out and say to know if he's a cotton or goto. So, why, why, what do you mean he's just a sniff? He's, uh, 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 he's, we assume he's a goto, right? We have a, if we have a question, we don't, don't ask, don't tell him. You can just assume he's a goto. He, he, uh, so the answer is, we're talking about when we have tuk tarim. Uh, echot sofik vechot cotton. He does change the gears, but not quite the same way the Shara Torah is sold us. Okay, but uh, he does change the gears. Ever so I've ever cut an osim as has suffix ikar. So you make the suffix the primary one. That's a cottonless sniff. Okay, now gears gives us a menish rabba. Perish rashi zal. The suffix osim soki ikar. And the suffix make him like an ikar kerum yagdolim. 
זהו ששונה אין מדקדקים אקר שונה זיכרון לברכה. אז אני רוצה לומר, קודם עושים לעשות סניף לגדולים. קודם אני לא יכול לעשות סניף לגדולים. ואני דווקא בקוטון אחד, הרבה סניף לגדולים. One cotton can be a sleep for nine adults and make up to ten. I have a base time low mahani, but not eight and two. The low mahani rock the sniff, because uh, uh, it's only a sniff. Sniff means only for the final, for the final tenth, but not for nine and ten. But I have African cotton by that, but that's only with the definite cotton. I have a cotton suffix, but if you have a cotton as a suffix, he is 13 years old. אין דרכי לב, ואינם מתקלס לדעס, אם יש לו בייס ארוס. We don't care to check if he has two hairs. ועל כן, חושב כי גודל. That's what you consider like גודל, ונחשב לצ'י, it's considered נייק. ולא סניף. And it's not a סניף. אם צדיק על תשע גדולים מורים. So therefore they're not nine absolute adults. נפקי מינה. And then אז נוכל לעשות מקוטון ודאי, then we can take the kids definitely קוטון and make him a סניף. The cause of nafkimina beni mu nechshav ki kol sniff. The 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 nafkimina whether he's primary or a sniff. Im hu gufe lo havi rak sniff. If one the the ninth person is a sniff, lo tzarek lo tzarek o kato. We can't make a tenth person a sniff as well. The whole atzma nechshav rak ne sniff latisha. Right? Can't make a sniff to a sniff. So a sniff for nine you can do, but a sniff to eight to make a sniff to a sniff. אבל אין עכשיו איקו, אבל אם קוטן הוא מסופק בבת, אז קצור דבי אין איקו, אז מסתרף לסניף, או קוטן בעדיין, אז אנחנו יכולים להיות דפן קוטן. אז הוא נחשב לצ'י, כי האנשים שהוא סופק, אז קצור דבי אין איקו. וכן כל איקו נתניה ברייסו, אין מדי בי קוטן, אז זה מה שכל איקו נתניה ברייסו, אין מדי בי קוטן, אז זה מה שכל איקו נתניה ברייסו, אז זה מה שכל איקו נתניה ברייסו, נחשב כמו גודל גומר, גומר, אז קצור דבי אין גודל. They know sniff and not sniff. Let's do it. Let's start it. Oh, cotton gomer will sniff. Then we can take another cotton to be the tenth. Feel sharp and come out. Rabbi Simon Shemesh of Levi. Rabbi Yosef Shemesh of Shem Rabbi. The cotton also must also sniff. Below ikar, the cotton can be a sniff and not primary, but cotton mamish. They were talking about an actual cotton. They call ikar tiny. Rabbi Yosef said they made darkim cotton. Vos vos in also ikar because that was just the Rabbi said we're not making darkim cotton. We can make them actually. Iker, part of the primary group, part of the nine. Let's go, Rak, Lo, Rosh, Yichol, and say, Oh, Katan, Vatai, that's my Sophic, the one we're not Medaknik in. And then we can take another Katan, who's Vatai, Lisnif. Okay, Kita, Kita, Rav, Sion, Shem, Mishim, Malevi, Rav, Sion, Mishim, Ben, Shob, Shem, Rebbe. Let's see inside again. Okay, going to the way Rav Baz explains it. Starting again with the beginning of the Gemara. Sion, Shem, Mishim, Malevi, Rav, Yosef, Ben, Shob, Shem, Rebbe, Rebbe. Katan, also, my Sophic, Sion, 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 definitely Katan can be made a Sniff. For ten, so what about it says? Sounds like emedakim cotton sounds like it's not a definite cotton. It's somebody who are not checking out, and it sounds like he's not a sniff. He can be nicker. So what's going on here? I'm going to say kimer. I'm going to say Rabbi Chanina. I'm going to say Moshe Meruvshua Ben Levi. So it's about we have two ketanim here. It's fade in him. Two ketanim. It's raw. Shimer echad cotton. Again, yeah, going to share the so same basic basically the basic is the same. If one of them was a cotton, he has to be the snake. It's called vade. They are called suffix. But one has a suffix, and that one we say, this is a suffix, and the tactic him, we assume he's a gutter. So we can be acre, right? In that case, Osim also we make that cotton sniff. Even though that we now we have really eight plus two tiny, but since one of those suktanim is one which aimed at acting by him, which we therefore give him a status of a gadol. So therefore, the tenth, the next one can be a sniff. Okay, and as it says here, suffik osin so vadai. The suffik we make him a vadai, and therefore, that he's number nine, and the cotton vadai is may is the sniff. Rabbi uh, Ben Pazi, b'shem Rabbi Yosi. Tishani and Kasora, Ma. Uh, the Shaddai so changes this a little bit, it changes the gears here a bit. Not sure exactly how he's changing it. Uh, one second, let me check that out. Okay, what he does is very cute, but uh, for, before we get there, I just want to, now we can say Shaddai, so I, I, I see I should have read it more black before. And here's the gears with Shima Echot Cotton, Echot Suffolk, Cotton also sniff, 
Something goes to the Silvante. I thought we should have read the notes more than one sentence. Now, this case is the way he's going to give it says, Tishon Dirin Kasora, Mizamin. He takes the word Ma and switches after Mizamin. Okay? So Tishon Dirin Kasora, Mizamin. Nine people, that's a statement. Nine people look at that Mizamin. So now they want to ask Ma. What are we talking about here that they look at that? Misuyamin? Is it the people who are uh, uh, large? <laughs> and uh, and they're, they're standing close together, uh, 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 um, and therefore they looks like they're ten people, uh, but they have to be specifically large, or, or maybe a uh, few uh, 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 cotton by name. Perhaps even if one of them is a cotton, still it looks like um, they are lar- like like the ten. Um, so uh, and the way he says it is that not that they're nine, including the cotton, but the nine, nine gedolim and katan echad. That's nearing kasara because they are ten. Okay, uh, the, but they, the, uh, so the way the learning, the, ha, the hakira here, the question is whether we're talking about nine people, only nine people, but since they look large and impressive, so therefore it's like ten. We're talking about ten people, but I haven't seen one is a katan, so therefore it looks like they're ten adults because they're ten people alone, but there are really only nine. Uh, uh, the uh Rabbi Brechia, Am Rabbi Yaakov Zavdi Boy Kumi Rabbi Yosi, but Medvor and Murim Tamon Katan Osin Loso Sleeping La Sora. So this is really going. We, we didn't answer the previous question, so we're going on to next the next issue. Uh, uh, so, is that Bamer or Kama? Uh, k- k- no, it's Kama, not Kama Bamer. Am Rabbi Yaakov Zavdi Boy Kumi Rabbi Yosi Kama. Just like you say over there. Cotton also must so sniff in my sora. A cotton can be made a sniff for ten for the purpose of um you know uh no okay no. Marav Hako is so sniff a slow shot. So uh uh the uh could also just make, make well, let's say we could also make him a sniff for three. My time is skim is a shame. Oh uh 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 both so sniff we can make him a sniff for ten. When he mentioned shame on shame, can't you aim us give him shame or coach can? Here, when he, with three, we're not mentioning Shem Hashem. We certainly can include him as a sniff. Why not? So wait, I doubt him now, and I apologize about that. But it's kind of like a run on Sugya. Um, so um, let's just finish up, up to this, the end of this answer here. Um, so Armale va ain't a koshkein. No, it's not. It's not a koshkein. Tamei deshein only must Hashem there where they say the name o osim oso sniff. In other words, so they want to be, they already have a zimun. They want to get up to Shem Hashem. So then it's a, okay, from 9 to 10, it's not such a big jump. But, can't you increase the shame? Here, we're not saying the shame, but we want to get from zero to, to, to in other words, again, from a zimun to an enhanced zimun, we can be inside of him. But get from no zimun to a zimun, perhaps uh, even though there's no Shem Hashem mentioned, nevertheless, we can join together, and he is talking, not a sniff. Um, Okay, so uh, we will stop here.